My prediction is for the 2024 Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. I know I'm not saying all that long words. Alright, so let's get into Flop of the Weekend. I don't want to hate on them anymore, but I'm going Alpine, I'm sorry. This track, I think, is a track that thinks a lot of like, street length speed. Alpine's engine isn't very good, so... I think they're going to have a struggle. Not like back of the grid struggle, but... Obviously, they're probably not getting points. Now I'm kind of sad that I picked on Alpine again. I'm sorry. And for spread the weekend, I'm going with Alex Albon. Honestly, I was tempted to just go Williams, but... I literally voted. <laughs> you guys say that I voted. I, I put in Sergeant way too many times. I put in Sergeant way too many times in my predictions. And like none of them came to watch. It's gonna be one weekend that Sergeant does very well. But yeah, Albon Williams has straight line speed, but not as much as they used to. So maybe they will still like this track, and maybe Alex can get a point or something. Because Williams doesn't have any right now. Or maybe, you know, a little 11, a little 12, maybe. For that, I'll mostly say 11, 4 points. But yeah, let, now let's go to pole position now. I'm pretty delusional, but I'm going to say Max finally gets beaten to pole position by Charlotte Flair. I know. Sorry, going to finally mess it up. But I'm going to say Charlotte Flair gets pole position. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm feeling a little bit of pole position. He's back to his like qualifying stuff. He got two consecutive P2s. So I think it's gonna be pole here. Not by much though, obviously, but I do, I do think it's gonna be pole position. For my top three, I'm gonna go with Lando Norris in third. He likes Imola. He does well around Imola, like in 2021 and 2022, he's gotten podiums here. And the McLaren is good, so I think he'll get a podium here. I think it'd be a fight between him and Charles for that po for the podium. And just for a bonus, I'm going to say Paris is in P4. But I think Norris is going to get a podium spot. It's going to be another P1 to not win. Leclerc is going to get another P2, a consecutive P2 finish. If he does, this is actually going to be Ferrari's first podium since Imola has been back in 2020, which is crazy for a home race that they have not gotten a podium at Imola. They were close in 2022, but we all know what happened. But yeah, I think he's going to be decently close to Max, but not like super, super close in my opinion. I think it is Max. Sorry, I'm going to be boring, but I'm going to say Max Verstappen is going to win the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. Come on. He didn't even win last time, so why wouldn't I predict him to win? He literally didn't even win last time. So, of course, why would I, why, why wouldn't I, you know, put him for three in the race? It might be very tight, but these teams make it upgrades and stuff. But I think, I still think he's going to win. Alright, now my crazy prediction now. So it might be a little bit tricky, but my crazy prediction is over the course of the weekend, at least two drivers end up in the grapple. Do I mean I don't know if I mean hitting the wall or not. You just end up in the gravel. They at least do so that could be two or more. That's two or more, not what I mean. Because they've got some the gravel, so I think drivers are definitely gonna end up in the gravel throughout the weekend. So it could be in the race, in free practice, and qualifying. Whatever, to be honest. But if the gravel, if it doesn't catch anybody out, I'll be very surprised because it's not like we raced there last year. So there's two drivers who have any, who have, who have any, three, actually like four drivers who haven't even raced at that track. Like so many drivers I realize haven't even raced at that track. Piastri, Hulkenberg, Magnussen haven't raced at that track. Joe hasn't raced there. Wait, yes, Joe has raced there. I'm sorry. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. My prediction is actually on point for one. I'm gonna do it on Wednesday. Oh, uh, that literally is the day that I'm doing it. I, I, I forgot. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.